we had a prison break and a prisoner got loose and was near one of the high schools, so they had a lockdown. Called the school to get the story on what was going on with the lockdown. They said, well, people were looking at a TV station's website and the station is an hour away. That was kind of a eureka moment for us. People want breaking news. We aren't really giving it to them, so we need to take the next step. My name is Les High. I'm the editor of the News Reporter in Whiteville. Our family's had the paper since 1938, and so I'm a third-generation newspaper guy. Well, we know that, that loyalty to the paper is very strong. Uh, the UNC group came in and did a survey, uh, and we found out that our loyalty was actually higher than the New York Times or Wall Street Journal. We have a million-dollar press, so we have a monopoly on the news business, or had a monopoly on the news business in Columbus County. Now anyone with a laptop can start their own news organization. Retraining the news folks hasn't been that hard. That's what they do. They go out and get news. With the advertising, it, it has been different. And, and of course, that's going to be sold differently. Um, we're looking more at packages. You know, before they uh, would go out and just do print, and then they would go home. We found that CPMs and click-throughs just don't work, particularly in a small county like ours. The strategy we're looking at now is more sponsorship oriented. One of the nice things about the web is you can target our audience by building these communities. And through UNC, uh, we've developed six different communities that we're going to target. We just really believe that, that we can find advertisers much more easily if you can give them a specific community or target. I think our biggest challenge, it, there was a day when we sat around and we talked about what our news stories were going to be and how we were going to get all those stories in and get them around all the ads that were in the paper. Now, it seems like we're having to make monumental decisions every two months, whereas in the old days, we just sat around and talked about how the money rolled in. I think that would be our biggest challenge, is trying to stay on top of all the changes, because if we don't do that, then somebody else will.